Hello guys and welcome to the channel. I'm Marv. This is Readings by Marvelous Madame Tarot. This is going to be your March 2024 month in closing reading. I'm kind of calling it that. We are closing um, the month with a final reading. <clears throat> and this is going to be for the beautiful sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, Scorpio, everything you need is below in the description box for you and your collective and in the pinned comment if you're interested in the personal reading that is going to be you can book that at www.marvelousmadame.com i do read twice a month at the top and the bottom of each month tarot texts are open 24 hours a day and i believe my pre-recorded videos okay all right, let's get into this. We're going to be doing a three card reading. I will read the cards intuitively and then I will clarify. And please look out on April 1st for a channel announcement as well as the re revelation or the, the reveal finally of when um, Marvelous um, Madame Wax Co. will be relaunching. This is for Scorpio. What do we got for Scorpio? Leading with the Seven of Cups. Somebody else had that. I feel like maybe it was Pisces. All right. Then we do have the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. And then what do we have? We have the Three of Swords. I don't like it. Okay, Scorp. Let's go. Leading with Seven Cups. Well... Seven cups in your energy presents you with too many options. These options are not viable, yet there are too many. Too many options um, where they're all tempting and they're all attractive options leads to analysis paralysis. Um, you're not going to make a decision and maybe that's what you want to do. You want your variety and you're not trying to make a decision. Maybe that's kind of by design. It feels like you're doing this because you feel that it's justified. Let's talk about this. So when I'm looking at this queen of pentacles, okay, the queen of pentacles is a nurturing queen. Um, very, very nurturing will, will, will really very warm, generous, right? If this is a person, I'm kind of starting to feel like it is. There is either an energy of nurture and warmth that you expect it, that because it's in the heart place, or this is an individual. Now, when we when we pair that with the three of swords, then there is heartbreak, betrayal loneliness or third party energy so yeah i feel that you feel the story that that is resonating with me the most that i'm gonna kind of keep going with is that you feel that this individual has betrayed you there is an individual that is in your heart that you feel like is maybe examining their options and they're not choosing you you to them or them to you, but this is kind of how I'm looking at this. And it, it's upsetting you. You feel betrayed by this. This is possibly someone that you already have connected with. Scorpio, the only thing that's going to hurt your feelings, I'm talking to you now. Let's keep it 100 grand. The only thing that's going to hurt you is if you have existing feelings for someone and with fixed energy, sometimes we have a sense of expectation that we feel we shouldn't have to communicate and then someone goes against what we thought. Fixed energy, we feel like we shouldn't have to tell you nothing. That's definitely um, a very common sentiment. I shouldn't have to tell you nothing. <laughs> Listen, I know it sounds crazy. Right? But I shouldn't have to tell you anything. And I'm not mocking you, Scorp. I struggle with this myself. Of course, I learned that you you can't you cannot feel like you shouldn't have to communicate 
in a relationship or expect someone to read your mind. And nine times out of 10, it's at the very moment when you feel like you shouldn't have to do it is exactly when you should. <laughs> I'm just telling you. I have the opposite of your energy, which is Taurus energy in my chart in my love houses. So I understand that there is a sense of expectation or what you shouldn't have to say. Of course, this is you to them or them to you. If they're cross watching for you, then, you know, that's fine. But I'm going to read it this way. Take what resonates, leave the rest, guys. So there's definitely a hurt here, but it's not being communicated. <laughs> Is not being communicated. It is expected, but not being communicated. Okay. There is an expectation that you are the person. It could have been that you dealt with this individual previously. Maybe there was a breakup between you guys and there was a reconciliation or you're in that weird energy phase where it's like we talking, but we're not official, but that doesn't exist with certain fixed signs. Ain't no we talking. And I've had this argument with people, okay? Like certain fixed signs um, that who shall remain nameless are so caught up in their ego that it doesn't apply to them when they're proving the point and they're guilty of the very same point that I'm making. I'm not talking about you, by the way. So I've had these arguments or these debates, these passionate debates with these other fixed energies, because I can, I can speak it because I have this fixed energy in my chart, um, especially in my inner planet. So Scorp, what I'm saying to you is in this case, it's like, this is an expected energy and we don't sit down and we think, and we don't look at it that way. We can never assume what the hell another person should and shouldn't do as adults there should be an open communication because things understood don't need to be explained but see let me tell you about what's understood folks play dumb and act like they shouldn't have to understand and that's when the melee starts you see what i'm saying so regardless of what it is this re this really has you in your feelings now it could be the other way around if it doesn't resonate with you at all, this is definitely what they're feeling about you. Why are these cards here for court? What is this? Yeah. Who else had this? Another um, reading was exactly like this. I think it was Pisces. Ooh, we. Yes. Hold on. Give me. Oh, what was that? All right. So, yeah. Seven of cups being clarified by six wands. Interesting. There's an expectation that we're going to be successful and we're going to do the damn thing this time. Queen of Pentacles that's in your heart is being clarified by all of these burdens. The Ten of Wands. This, is, this was heavy and this was something that you already went through with this person. There, you're, you guys are definitely not on the same page. Somebody is, I can tell by the clarifiers versus... It's like the clarifiers tell one story and the main energy tells another story, but they all go together. So there was something that happened in the past. Let, you know what? Let me get this up deck and clarify what this is. And then the three of swords is being cl clarified by the king of wands. Somebody is definitely not allowing the constraints of the relationship to stop them from, from following their passion and going after other people. It's almost as if one of you guys feels like you're in a committed relationship and the other of you guys feels like you can, you're open to see other people. That's what it feels like. Because if a queen, a king of wands is clarifying the three of swords, listen, the clarification of this energy is, is I am passionate. I am an adult and I can do what I want. If, if my passion leads me over there, that's where I'm going. If my passion leads me over there, that's where I'm going. However, I want to keep these options open. This, this King of Wands is definitely singing this Seven of Cups of story. It's like, hey, I want to keep my options open. I didn't say we was doing this and doing that. Now, Scorpio, let's talk about it. Was this an energy that you gave this person before? Why is this Ten of, of Wands here? 
because they definitely giving it back or did they come in on this BS and now this is where you at because you like, uh, uh, no, we ain't doing this. We gonna, we gonna slow bop this one because, uh, uh, ooh, we look at that queen of cups in reverse. And I don't even read. Ooh, look at this. These cards are not in reverse, but didn't that devil and that queen of cups go in reverse and the two of wands is upright? Listen, someone is tired of the BS. There is no more unhealthy attachments, toxic behavior. My devil is in reverse. This is where I draw the line. This is going to be the best for us. You do you, I do me, and we do each other when we are in. That's what someone here is saying, and somebody don't like it. <laughs> somebody here is like, oh, hell no. I'm not about to be your jump off. We picking up where we left off. We harping on this. We together. And somebody is saying, no, I think it's better if we ain't together. Ooh, like that. And someone, th there is no conversations about this score. This is a secret feeling that is being harbored because why do people not tell people things? Let's talk about that because, because of two reasons, two reasons, rejection and vindictiveness. It, care to elaborate, Marv? I sure will. A person is going to either tell you, I don't want you like that. I, I want you, but I don't want you like that. Or a person is going to say, I'm doing to you what you did to me. Either way, it's, I thought this was what we was on. Didn't you do this? And a, a fixed, stubborn ass, vindictive person that has a mentality that I can do it to you, but you can't do it to me. That's the last thing they want to hear. They would rather harbor feelings and emotions and just go with the flow for fear of, of hearing those dreadful words. Either, ain't this what we was doing? Did, wasn't it good enough for me? When you was doing it, I had to deal with it. It feels like there is a love and respect for each other, but you two are not on the same page. And I promise you, it has a lot to do with the past and what has already happened. I'm looking at this. This person has decided, and you to them or them to you, not to engage Scorpio in all of the crap that you guys may have went through in the past. Check that out. And so in this person's head, they feel that you guys can can keep your options open and they'll still give you everything that you want but they refuse <laughs> to give you their heart that that's probably i can understand why that would be hurtful because they're this what's clarifying these heavy burdens is you feel like this person is still there for you but they're not showing you any emotion you need that emotional connection score. You do, you cannot even move forward unless you know it is simply deep. We're going to take it back to Kelly Rowland. You have to know that a person is just invested in you as you are in them or they will not, you will not open up. If you feel threatened or the hint, uh, the slightest little hint, the wind can blow hard. You be like, uh-uh, this person knows some BS. I'm good. You will not show that person your hand. Now, I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just telling you what I see, okay? This person has decided to get off the toxic bandwagon. You may have felt like it wasn't toxic, but this person damn sure had, did. This person also had, they're, they're, they're not showing their emotions because the queen of cups is in the reverse. Again, you to them or them to you. And what they are doing, what is upright, what is upright in clarifying what this Ten of Wands is, is guess what? The Two of Wands. So instead of being in an energy of heavy burdens, this person is like, uh-uh. I am constantly making choices. I am constantly moving. I am playing this is strategically. 
I'm planning now. I'm laying down the foundation. I'm not acting on the whim this time. I'm not throwing my energy away. I'm going to do this like an adult. I'm moving with intention. Ooh, wee. Oh, my goodness gracious. This, oh, maybe this is eclipse stuff. Oh, my goodness. All right. Looking back at me at the top is, yep, look at this. Justice and the damn Queen of Swords. I cannot, cannot, cannot. We got an energy confirming that this person feels completely justified in their actions and justice is here meaning that someone had to get the redemption either you or them but somebody is getting the same damn energy that they put out in the past or getting finally what they deserve someone here is getting what they deserve they deserve and not able to break down that person's defenses and that does not make a Scorpio I know damn well happy because you like wait a minute listen you are naturally um, 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 secretive and and I know you don't like that word but when it's displayed to you and you are the investigators of the zodiac hell no <laughs> you're not dealing with that you're like wait a minute and 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 this is it gets complicated I'm gonna close it out because it's like this person is not this person is not trying to play ball damn show the way that it used to be and parts of them felt taken advantage of of the part of in the past they're not doing it they're not gonna do it wow what remains is justice huh. what remains is justice that says it all what remains is just this person put boundaries up they're there for you but they're not they're, they're being they're, they're being very strategic in the way they show their emotions scorpio you to them and them to you like share subscribe to the marvelous tribe everything you need is below in the description box for you and your collective thank you so much we're going to close it out right there and i will see you in april bye guys